You wanna know what happened at TwitchCon? People got roofied at TwitchCon! This is one out of three that I know of. Yep, I found three cases of it too! What happened at TwitchCon? Yep! Yep! Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yep! People got real feet at TwitchCon! So, let's talk about it. This started off with... I think I was drunk at the bar. That's how the tale starts. The tale, I say. This, this isn't much of a tale. This is horrible. This is a fucking horrific situation, man. An update. I am awake now. We won't know what actually happened to me last night other than I just wasn't okay. I was in no state to go to the hospital as I don't have insurance. So I did not receive any tests to see if I had something in my system. We only suspect my drink may have been spiked due to how sick and horrible and drunk I felt after only two drinks. Even three to four hours out from leaving the bar. I felt very wrong and overall not okay. I was in a terrible headspace and I honestly should not have been tweeting. And I apologize for anyone I may have worried. Thankfully, my friends took care of... Uh, took care of so I am safe no matter what caused me to feel that way. Poor Hades, yeah. Friends helped. Yeah, thankfully. Thankfully, they had their friends there. Say what? That's not good. Nope, that's not good. That's not good at all. Thank you so much for everyone who checked up on me. I'm eating now after sleeping for a bit. I had woken up and I was throwing up stomach acid nonstop, but I'm okay now. I love Apollo so, so much for pulling me out of that situation and keeping me safe. Due to this, though, I will not be attending any parties unless they are controlled and the people are known. As for drinking, I won't be doing it for the rest of the trip besides bottled beverages. That was all until here. That was all until here, right? So this is a, an absolute horrible situation and we'll go deeper into it. There's more. There's more cases. All of this chat. You see all of these tabs? All of these are related. And it's it's crazy that this happened. From what I understand, all of this happened at the blurb after party. So, Hades treated this. When I opened this, I think this was like two hours ago. At this point, it's six hours ago. It's honestly disgusting that I even feel the need to defend myself for what happened to me at TwitchCon. I did not assault anyone. I'm stopping this narrative right now. I made a couple of tweets because I was unsure if me talking to people had made them uncomfortable, which I'll admit was just me taking a woman moment of just being insecure and not knowing if I was bothering anyone or if they enjoy talking to me. But to accuse me of lying about something so serious so to cover up assault is vile. I never claimed I 100% know what happened to me because I did not get tested. Why didn't I? Because I live in Canada and waiting to apply for my permanent residency and I do not have an American health insurance and I do not physically have the money in my account to pay for a hospital visit and I cannot afford it to be in debt. Also, why didn't I call the cops? I was already at our BNB by the time I really noticed something was wrong. I only had two vodka crayons. I felt sick at the bar and then proceeded to still feel bad four hours later. I've never ever been in a situation like that before it was scary. I obviously being in the mental state I was... Sorry, I obviously being in the mental state I was was not able to think 100% straight. So I'm sorry if I didn't follow the guidebook to being drugged. We did, however, contact the bar, talk to security and had them look at the footage and investigate. But yeah, fuck you if you seriously believe I would lie or assault anyone. Happens all the time, got drugged once too. Who as a dude lost since then I've never leave my drink out of my eyes. Fucking Christ, man. That being said, any plans to go to Twitch Con 2025? <laughs> Bro, this this is horrible. And yes, I looked at the crows to find out what's going on. Like, why why did she feel the need to be saying that? People, 
I, I found two specific ones. This is called getting fucking wasted. And when you're drunk, you don't think quite right and make mistakes. Go drink some water, dummy. She had two drinks. Bro, she had two drinks and felt shit four hours after. That doesn't happen after two simple drinks. Someone else drinks too much. Someone must have put super secret drug into that drug I was drinking. Where? People are horrible. This is also why I wanted to talk about this. Because people are fucking horrible. Fucking... Like... I can't understand. Someone gets roofied and other people still twisted into a direction saying people are crying for attention. Did someone put something in her drink? Most likely, yeah. Do not accept cigarettes or drinks from people in locations you have not been before. Never leave your smokes or drinks unattended ever. Yes, 100% agreed. 100% agreed. People like this are saying she's making it up and whatnot. Crying for attention. All that shit, man. Well, she got fucking roofied. Where can be a... I take it. Uh, from what I read, she had some vodka. Two vodka drinks. The people posting that they're making that up are literally making it up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the irony of that shit, man. The irony of that shit. Also, I did see a quote retreat that refers back to this for apparently quote unquote assaulting someone. Give me a moment. A quote. Let me let me find it. I when I saw it earlier, I couldn't make any sense of it. But let me find it. This one isn't it. This one isn't it. Real quotes. Mm. That one ain't it either. That one wasn't it either. Here. Well, something here happened, apparently. I definitely don't belong here. I'm sorry. I'm incredibly sorry to everyone I've made uncomfortable during this trip. I do not re recognize boundaries a lot of times, so I apologize heavily if I was acting too familiar with people. I'm so sorry. I'll do my best to leave people alone unless I I'm wanted. I was looking at the account, but I think those tweets are deleted, and she did say that... Please... Uh, sorry. She did say that... I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But I couldn't find anything else. She did say that she's sorry about the tweets she was making. And that she was drunk and fucking roofied, man. Fucking horrible situation. This is case one. This is case one, though. We have another case. About being roofied at TwitchCon. I mean, she was drugged? Yeah. I, I don't blame her for anything she did during that time. Pause case one. Yep. On to case two. My statement about being roofied at the 2024 Friday TwitchCon Blurb VIP party. Trigger warning. This one goes into detail. I've read this one before. I've read this before. To start with, this was mostly a VTuber party full of larger creators who were not wearing their usual facial disguises and coverings, meaning we all thought it was a safe space to vibe and meet other creators. And it was for a little, for a little. About two hours into it, the party started getting a bit more crowded and I remember it. What happened? Oh, follow. Thanks for the follow, Kalmari. Thank you. Um... About two hours into it, the party started getting a bit more crowded. And I remember thinking I didn't see this many people on the guest list we all registered for. I.e. the security to the VIP party was shit. I want to come back to this in a little bit later. One of my close friends noticed their water tasted funny and I only took a few sips but started feeling off. Which I knew was mostly li most likely a low grade roofie. While waiting for their Uber with them, I noticed, uh, notified the security guard, who yelled at us for taking up the walkway SMH. Great security guard, by the way. That she was most likely roofied. 
Shortly after she was picked up to uh, shortly after she was picked up, it hit me hard. Now, for context, I have been roofied before, so I know how it feels. But this was something much, much worse, more severe. Once I started feeling heavy and unable to read, well, I immediately ran to the bartenders, who I befriended, to let them know I'd been roofied and to take precautions. I was informed at the point that they had drink covers and were not handing them out. Keep this one in mind, too. My friends, thank god they were there, had to carry my limp. Hyperventilating body out of the party, which was soon blocked off by the fire marshals for overcrowding. For about two hours after that, I could only move my mouth, mumbling at my eyelids. My point in this is, it was a VIP party with major craters there, with major craters there, who felt it was a safe environment to demask. They had drink covers and did nothing. And security was shit and started letting God knows who in after a few hours. They had a responsibility to take care of us and did not. My con was ruined and I spent the rest of it shaken up and scared to drink anything but water. Do better blurb. Was dog disrespect there? What the fuck bro? Chill. <laughs> You got a roofie, you got a roofie, you got a roofie. So, this one right here, Blurpy responded right back. And if you don't know who or what Blurpy is, Blurpy is. How do I explain this? I'm. They're like a service, a third party service where you can buy sound alerts. I believe they have a Twitch expansion. Uh, ex extension. I believe they have a Twitch ex extension where something like streamer elements where you can take donations through Blurpy. So yeah, like the fucking sound things that you've seen. Kind of says maybe they did the dragon. I don't know. That that's what Blurpy does, right? Cultivate your community with blurb, sound memes, ask, AI, AI, TTS, donations. We'll help you entertain, engage, and earn more while you stream. Like Tangia? Yeah, I think something like that. It's comparable to that. So, Blurpy had an after party with music by Jesu and friends organized. I went to Jesu's uh, Twitch account to see if we could maybe find some live footage of what happened, but no. This video is only available for subscribers and that was the tool uh, in the last two months. So doesn't seem like they were live streaming the event. I was thinking maybe we could find some live footage of how big everything actually looked. Unfortunately, no. Um, either way, Blurpy responded, hey, Emily getting the name wrong but that could be an honest typo but in all honesty when making a response back you shouldn't make a typo especially not to a post like this hey emu emuli this is the second case we've heard of someone that got their drink spiked the second one so either Hades is the one they heard of before, or the one we're yet to talk about, chat. And we're so upset that happened to you. So glad you are recovering okay. Unfortunately, we did not have any drink covers for the party, nor did we communicate that we will have any. But at future parties, we will be sure to provide them. Now, this is the one where I'm very confused. What I'm very confused about. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. This is the one where I'm very confused about. They say they didn't have any drink covers. Emil Key goes out and uh, says that the bartender said they did have them, but never handed them out. So, what I'm thinking is the bar had some themselves, but Blurpy never requested for any to be... Uh, out. I'm okay responding out to the Sunday. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What is the drink cover? I'll show you, I'll show you. We'll get there too, we'll get there too. 
First, it's ammo key. I'm not okay, and even without the drink covers, it was your responsibility at a VIP invite only party with several big names to make sure the only people out in were on the list. Drink covers or not, this is on you. Agreed. 100% agreed. From Fallout video, I understood there was two parties at the same time or something. All right. All right. Well, this was a blurpy organized party. So there might have been a sec... Um, from what I believe, there's always... After parties from Twitch organized themselves. And this was... This one right here was a blurpy organized after party. So I would assume that there's multiple parties af after parties. Either way... Going into Bloppy's response. Sorry, Amuki, it, it autocorrected. Yikes. Everyone that got in was manually approved by us and our sponsors. The venue capacity was 350 and we only let 325 on the roof and at one point, 15 had to wait for others to leave to get in. There were no plus ones or otherwise that were allowed in without an invitation. We denied nearly 500 plus RSVPs for the event. I don't, I don't know what that means. There was... Uh, sorry, there was security at check-in to get the wristband, security to get onto the elevators and security to get onto the roof itself. We absolutely agreed we should have had drink covers for all guests. As we stated in our direct message to you, we'd be able, happy to discuss options to make this right to you and uh, any other guests that were affected. Uh, SVP is an email invitation. Ah, okay, reservations. Okay, thank you. So, from this response... If it is true... Chat, if this is true, that... They, uh, that the security was an ass. Or at least uh, the people that were let in. That the security for... The, like the door security was an ass. If this is true. That means someone on the invite list. Spiked others. VTubers can be shitty too. Yep. That means someone... That was invited. Fucking spiked other people. And the people that got invited. From my knowledge. Big creators. Bigger creators. Bigger creator names. 350 is a lot. I can see how she felt more people than planned were let in. She might have also seen the, an incomplete list. That's what I'm thinking, that she might have not seen the full list, plus 350 people is quite a lot. If they had the space for that many, crazy. The standards described where met. Hmm? I don't know what to say other than people suck. People do suck. But guessing here, not many had the opportunity to do that BS. Y yeah. I don't- I actually want to say that I do believe that security didn't let other people in. I do want to say that I do believe Blurpy that this happened. I do believe that there weren't just random ass people there. That it did seem to Evoki that, that it was random people. But... But they knew they would have that many people there. And they were just trusting that no one would do anything. Even though all fucking people can be fucking trash. Doesn't matter if they're a Twitch partner. Doesn't matter if they're a content creator. Doesn't matter anything. A shit human can be anywhere. This gets a theory. If it was a VTuber who spiked the drinks, they could also have administered a lesser dose for themselves so that they can have some alibi sound smarter in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god, I still should have taken more precautions. That's what I'm saying. They still should have taken more precautions. They should have had the drink covers. They should have had drink covers. 100%. 100%. So I clicked on this post here. Is it true you had drink covers that your staff failed to hand out? I'll let you know what is true. Multiple people had their drinks spiked at your event. It isn't. Whoa, just posting back to this. 
The squid mustard, thanks for the follow. Blurpy has made an official response to this or anything. I don't know if Blurpy has emailed other people. Blurpy did write. Like what I believe who is using like I believe Blurpy has a social manager account that cares for this, that it's not the the big people behind Blurpy that are operating the account. Everyone could do that. We can't look into people. Could yep. have been a content creator, yep. barkeeper, security, etc. Yes. People do that to do nasty things, want to steal from you, don't like you or they have a psycho humor and do it for fun. People yep. are F up in many ways. Yep, 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 yep. My guess they're probably investigating right now, can't really say much at the moment. Yeah, I hope they are looking at the camera footage and do catch or some people that were expecting other people drinks. I do hope that they find them. Moving on though. Moving on. Here's one more person. Trigger warning. Drugs. Slash drugged. TLDR. Drink got spiked the Sunday after TwitchCon ended. I was safe the whole time, thankfully. So this was Sunday. The other two, from what I understood, were both on Friday. If I remember correctly. This was Sunday. This was- this is the third case. At everyone, for those who missed my stream yesterday, I talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly that happened during TwitchCon. Two major events happened to me, but the one that's most important and I want you all to learn from me is that I got roofied during the bonfire party that was on the Sunday after the TwitchCon. So it is a different one. I will say I was safe the whole time even if I don't remember anything my friends do. Which might be why the episode wasn't so traumatic for me as it otherwise would have been. I don't blame myself at all, but I do feel stupid for not having my drink in my sight the whole time and also putting it down out of sight and mind. I, I think this is good that she doesn't blame herself for it, but knows that it was stupid. I, I think very good mindset. Very, very fucking good mindset to, mindset to have. Mindset to have. I beg of you all to please use drink covers and keep your drinks in sight and in mind the whole time. Stay close to friends and never leave their sight. Again, I was safe and feel fine. I'm, of course, affected by this event and feel incredibly violated. But I'll be fine after a while. Appreciate you all and please stay safe if you go out to a drink. So, two different events, three people spiked that we know of anyway. That we know of anyway. Both happened... During TwitchCon or more like uh, Twitch, at TwitchCon after parties. Now... Is the TwitchCon to blame for this? I... I don't know. I don't know how much TwitchCon allows after... Like how much... Not allows. How much TwitchCon can police after parties? Because after parties are, from what I know of, organized by individuals like Blurpy here themselves, like Blurp themselves, you know? No, I won't say it's a host's prop. Um, I don't want to say. Yeah, I don't want to say it's it's the fault at TwitchCon. I want to say it is Blurp's fault and the parties, the host party's fault. Someone been on the grind lol. What the fuck? The spike drink incident on TwitchCon. So, there's one thing. There's one thing, though. While I was looking shit up... While I was looking shit up, this post is from 2019. But this happened at TwitchCon. This was at the TwitchCon. Pretty disappointed to be honest. I thought Twitch was starting to understand that some of us want the option of a quieter place for the partner party instead of a huge loud party. Also, this is a huge safety concern. How is this the way you're serving drinks? This was 2019, though. Just to be fair, this was 2019. This person, not this person, someone else did end up getting roofied at the Twitch after party. That was, that was 2019, that was five years ago. And I, I think we haven't seen any posts like this from the Twitch con afterwards anymore. I do think Twitch con themselves with them hosting their after uh, partner parties and shit, I think the Twitch con themselves did learn better. I do think Twitch themselves did improve because shit did get um less 
I guess less things were reported to happen like this at TwitchCon because all the things that were reported happened at after parties and not at the Twitch partner parties but at parties that seemed to have been VTuber themed and specifically VTubers being targeted here I assume that spear isn't that the most common drink to come can't looks like it yeah looks like it but again keep in mind this was 2019 this was 2019 so this was also 2019 see this was this did happen 2019 people did get roofied at the 2019 twitch after the twitch partner party holy shit i can't talk man so this happened after uh, before twitch themselves did seem to learn but the twitch part uh, uh the people that are hosting after parties didn't seem to be learning anything at all from this no there's one more post i'm gonna show not to yourself do not go with streamers to parties no not to yourself go with a plus one go with a plus one do not let your drink out of your sight Use drink covers. Bring your own drink covers. It is sad that we live in a time where we need to take care of all our drinks. The people fucking still actively spike other people's drink. Go to parties, but be aware of your surroundings. Yes. Yes, that stuff is not MSC. Just a sugar. I will show you. This is sugar, chat. This is sugar. Three. That's three cases of roofing at this year's TwitchCon. One at the Blur Party, one at the Senpai Squad Rave, and one that happened to VTubers Hades Mythos. I was assuming that the Hades Mythos one also Hades Mythos one also happened at the Blur Party, but I might be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure. I might be wrong. Please make a statement about this TwitchCon, TwitchCon, TwitchCon San Diego. The thing is, it happened at three different ends. Uh, Three different places where can it really be Twitch's responsibility when it's an after party? Imagine someone adds pull ball of three to four whole massive pound to your drink and that stuff was easy to get. What the fuck? Either way. Trigger morning dragon, in light of what happened at the blurb blurb party at TwitchCon, I implore two people to watch this. Sipping Slipping something into drinks is so incredibly easy, even if you're prepared. Do not blame yourselves. 100%. Never blame yourselves. Never blame yourselves. We don't need sound for this. Never blame yourselves. But look at this. Spiking my friend's drinks with candy to show them how easy it is to be tampered with. This is to display how fucking easy it is, chat. Look at this. Like, this is just sugar right literally look how fucking easy it is they never knew they never knew even in the canned one even in the can even in the can chat even in the fucking can Hugged and in. Hugged in. Look at this. I'm never getting invited to an after party chat. I'm winning. Damn. The shit is crazy. Scary? Yes. This is absolutely fucking terrifying. Kind of glad that I never went to a party <laughs> so far. <laughs> kind of glad that I was never invited to any party now. This is scary. On her phone, not paying attention. Pop! Dropped it in. And dropped it in. But. Is being a loser a win in this case? Yes. The solution is never touch grass. N never touch grass. Many parties, but a drug the only ones. Fuckers are everywhere. Fuckers are fucking everywhere, man. Fuckers are fucking everywhere, yes. Wording! Phrasing! <laughs> Woman! <laughs> uh, this is so scary to see, man. 
And just seeing how fucking easy it is, man. Even like to someone you just hugged, it's so fucking easy. This is scary. Honestly, don't see how the party host can protect people against this. It's frustrating. Right? Should have. It's 2024. They should have. Pro they should have provided drink covers. They should have provided drink covers. Having a system makes this more stressful. Mm. Cosby show getting reruns in 2094. Oh boy. Seal top with a straw. Yep. Yep. Seal top with a straw. Seal top with a straw. Bring your own. If they don't provide one, try bringing your own. Stay fucking safe. And by the way, this doesn't only go for women. As someone here in chat said themselves, they got a fucking roofie too. This doesn't only go for women. Men get drugged too, chat. This, this isn't based on fucking gender. Everyone needs to fucking stay safe. Men aspect all the time. Yeah, I remember... I remember, chat, I actually remember seeing a, a clip some months ago, maybe some years ago, not entirely sure, where a guy did get a uh, fucking, um, roofied, where a guy did get roofied and was almost fucking taken away by the other person, but uh, fucking some drag queens came to save him, man. Women and men get targeted. Anyone gets targeted, man. Just as scary as well when men get this treatment. Yep. This isn't gender specific. Anyone can could get fucking um roofied. Bring a metal water bottle that makes noise if opened. <laughs> True. Like, I have a water bottle that's very squeaky when opened. Been drugged in two different ways. Both times I ended up in the hospital. Jesus Christ, man. Sorry to hear. Based drag queen saving the dude from disaster. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how much the TwitchCon itself is to blame. Because this is gonna happen at any big event ever. I, I think... I wasn't there personally at TwitchCon. I don't know how TwitchCon handled their drinks. Seeing that all these happened at after parties, the hosts should be the ones to blame. And I don't think Twitch needs to be held responsible, but Twitch needs to rethink who they are letting organize after parties or who are they are going to be okay with organizing after parties, even though I don't even think... I don't even think Twitch could say to someone to not organize an after party. I mean, Twitch is only viable if it's a member of Twitch stuff. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I don't even think Twitch could say, uh, like, tell anyone to not organize an after party. It's the host's responsibility. It's the host's responsibility to do shit. After parties are nothing. Twitch can really police. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't think Twitch uh, and TwitchCon here are to blame. And a lot of people are making it out that TwitchCon here is to blame or needs to be held responsible by... Uh, I'm I'm saying the fucking hosts need to be held responsible. I blame security? That too. Security also needs to be on the lookout for shit like this too. Security needs to also be on the lookout for shit like this too, yeah. Would like to see that a drug, uh, drug sniffing dog... Drug sniffing dog's been used and drink cover's been... I'm sorry, I don't know what you're trying to say. Where was TwitchCon held? Uh, San Diego. San Diego. Um, where's San Diego, chat? Where is San Diego? Is San Diego a state or a city? It's in California. Because I've come across some post chat and now you need- you guys need to tell me if this is correct or not because I am not an American person and I definitely do not live in Cali since I'm not in America to begin with. I have come across some posts. Um, let me close this so I have an 
higher probably not this one this this post is even smaller chat like look at this one it's it's so scary it's so fucking scary but i've come across posts where it said that it's illegal not to cover like not to provide drink covers I've, uh, I've scrolled past some quote retreats from that. Trying to find that. Trying to find it, trying to find it. Where, where's the previous post I just showed you? Here. In some places it might be. I don't think that could be legal. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I saw something. I saw something and I need to find it. I need to find it. I need to find the post. The post I couldn't find earlier. I'm begging people who like to party to invest in these or something like it. Certainly there have been cases where needles have been used, but it will still be help. Uh, it will it will still help for other methods. Always try to be aware and have a friend looking out. 100%. 100%. Let me find this. California. A drink covers. I swear I've come across uh, a Kelly friend here, cannot confirm, could be a city law. Might have been a city law. I think I've come, I, I don't know how much validity there was to it and I can't find the post to it either anymore. My dude, and you in California, there are a lot of bad actors that wish to do harm and you're not giving out drink covers. What is 2024? Get with the times and assume there will always be trouble lurking when the police are non-existent. Jesus, man. This was in response to Blob and Amuki. Can someone just put shit in the straw? Yes! But it's gonna get harder and harder at that point, you know? It's gonna get harder and harder at this point when you have a cover and a straw there, you know? Every year I get FOMO for Twitch content. Every year it disappears when I see my friends getting roofied at parties. Why do I hear so much of these at TwitchCon specifically? Can something be done about this? It happens every year and I don't think it, this should be normalized. So I forgot what the um, effect was called. But I believe that uh, this is most likely due to them paying more attention to these kind of events as in twitchcon because roofing happens at other events too and at other cons it happens there too this is this is the same placebo no 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 not placebo this is more the effect when you uh you never see anyone driving a fucking i'm gonna go out on a whim like don't don't actually take this as an IRL example i'm gonna tag this out uh, and make it a completely theoretical Confirmation base. Yes, that one. Confirmation bias. I think so. Wait, is it? I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know, man. No. No, 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 no. What I was gonna say is, it's when you, um... You don't have a car. You buy a car. Uh, you buy yourself a fucking VW Golf, Volkswagen Golf, and usually you don't see it anywhere. But now that you own a Volkswagen Golf, you see it everywhere. That. Where once you notice something, it, you, uh, you are able to see the thing around you more clearly and more noticeable. But little did you know that uh, the Volkswagen were always there, you know? That, that thing. just recognize it's better yeah 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 but it's uh, that specific effect i, I uh, that's frequency frequency illusion also known as the bada meinhof phenomenon refers to the cognitive bias where people tend to notice something more often after they have been exposed to it that's the one i believe that's the one that's the one the awareness testing yeah 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 that's the one yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's the one that uh 
you don't pay attention to the other cons because they uh, you don't involve yourself in them but since you are a twitch streamer and you are thinking about twitch con and then suddenly that shit happens there you feel like it's happening more often there but this happens everywhere unfortunately that that's what i mean so i don't i wouldn't say why does this specifically happen at TwitchCon only? No, it doesn't. It happens everywhere. Which is shit, it's not good, but it happens everywhere. So, yeah. That's all I have to talk about in that regards, really. That's that.